Hey everybody, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I am here to do another Carved December. I got behind because I was having some back issues. I'm on meds and I feel much better. So, I have no idea what day this is. I'll label it when I put it um, out for the world. I was looking through, uh, ge I love geometric designs, as you can tell, um, and repeating designs. So I think what I'm going to do is try to do this one right here. So I'm going to cut a two inch by two inch piece of this vellum. If I can get it turned around properly. Well, I want to do it this way. Will it go in there? Yes, good. Okay, so I'm going to do two inches by two inches. And that way I can put it right on the rubber and start drawing from there. Come on, get in there. Two inch. Oh, it's a little taller. Well, maybe. It's going to be a little squishy at the bottom. Two inches. See, it doesn't want to cut the very end because this paper is too wide. Two inches by two inches. And I'm going to go ahead and cut a couple more of these so that when I go to carve in the next few days, I don't have to do this again. This is how we end up with extra stuff as craft accumulators. There we go. Is there something written on this one? No. Okay, so I chop off another two inches. There we go. This can go in the trash. I'm not saving it. I know, don't yell in horrors. Oh my god, she threw something away. Alright, so um, I need a piece of white to go underneath this while I do this. And there we have it. Scrap paper. Well, maybe white's not, but well, who cares? Okay, so this is vellum, or some people call it tracing paper. Depends on what brand you buy. Um, anyway, so I'm going to use this as my example. But I'm going to try to draw it so that when I print it, you know what will happen. All right, so let's see. We need a straight edge. We need a pencil that writes. So, oh, it's really hard to see on here. Ugh, okay. I need a color. Oh, well, I don't want to do it on the rubber. Here, let me do it on this. So, that's not much better. <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's do, now these are only temporary. I don't know how I, I can't see. Hang on, I have to move my light to see this. Yes, it's going to glare on you, but I've got to see what I'm drawing here. And never mind with that, because now I can actually see it. All right, so I'm going to put it in a 2x2 two two inch square here. And then I'm going to take my ruler. And I'm going to do this. Because I want everything to match when I, I stamp it. Oops, there we go. I need to make an X on it so I can figure out where center point is. All right, there we go. Now I can put it on something, right? Let's do it on red. Maybe red would be better. I don't know. Okay, I'll change my light so they're not in your face. There we go. All right, so I think the first thing is... Well, that does not look very straight to me. Why does that not look straight? Because it's not. All right, let's try to cut this again. It's not going to work unless it's actually a two by two. And it's hard to see it. Is it two by two? Well, two by two. Okay, so I'm hoping that's good enough. All righty. Okay, so here we have the X, and I want this dark part to be the center in here. So I need to figure out how far, is it a half an inch is too large, so let's do an eighth of an inch from the pencil line. So it's one eighth. 
and then I'll do one eighth. So we're going to go one eighth this way, and then going to go one eighth this way. I usually don't measure this exact kind of stuff because this is a little bit on the anal retentive side. Well, let's see, look, one eighth, by one eighth. But if I want this stuff to meet when I stamp it, I gotta do this. One eighth by one eighth. Oh, that doesn't exactly look lined up. Hmm. All right, let's try this again. All right, I'm going to fast forward through all this craziness and probably most of the video, and I'll come back at the end.
Okay, so I shut the video off and was trying to let this dry. <laughs> I don't know how dry it got, but we're going to keep going and see how we do here because the last one did not stick very well. Oh, much better. Good, because, like, I didn't want to have to redo this. I probably should have started down the middle instead of to the side. Now looking at it afterwards. Okay. And I don't mind that the paint is sticking to it. Because, let me turn this around different directions so I can see what I'm doing here. Because I need for this to match up a little bit better than I did last time. I think I'm a little crooked. Much better. Much, much better. Oh, oh shoot. Well, that one's going to be fuzzy, so I lifted it up. Yep, a little bit. That's okay. It's only a jelly print. this way. I'm having fun with this design. I kind of like it. Kind of like it. All right, let's do it this way. Yep, this way. And not so bad. I'm sorry you can hear the dogs. My husband's harassing them in the living room. Yep. Okay. Let's roll a little pink on here. Maybe I can get better color. I just picked colors out of the basket. I wasn't trying to do any specific color. Oh, that was genius. Now I rolled the paint right off the edge. <laughs> lovely, Vicky. Just lovely. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that is on very light. I gotta find another piece of paper here. make sure it picks up the majority of it. Although I do like that look where it doesn't pick up 100%. Oh, much better than last print. There you go. Alright guys, this is it for me for today. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.